Hello guys, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mujin Lua Alegbe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and like then try to share with your friends and your family members. Even if they are your enemies, just share it. Thank you. I think today I'm going to, not like I think, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a story time about how my first iPhone was stolen. <laughs> Very funny story. I know that those involved, if you are watching this video, they are going to be laughing a lot because it was a very, very funny story. Then I'm going to be doing my makeup too. So if you want to learn how to do just your basic makeup, you can watch. But make sure you subscribe. You can't come and be stealing free knowledge from this place like that. Thank you. First things first, you have to clean off your face. You have to use micellar water. I'm using the Mismetic Micellar Water. I don't know if you can see it properly. And I'm using this cutting pad. I know most people use them. What's it called? Most people use wipes. But there was one wipes I got one time and it was hurting my face. Like anytime I use it, like my face face becomes very, very hot. And I don't know why that was happening. So I got another one. I think this is like a better wipes to use this baby wipes what's the name of this one angel i think it's a better one to use but for now when we are cleaning off our face we're just going to be using the micellar water to clean off so let's get into this video properly in my opinion i think i do better at um, sit down videos more than vlogs and i like vlogs though i'm going to do it but i think i haven't gotten a hang of it so <laughs> let's just manage the sit down videos last week now i was supposed to upload a weekly vlog i think i only did eventful things from like monday to wednesday but after that i don't think i did anything eventful again so i cancelled one but i might still upload that video anyways let's see how it goes so now i'm actually just cleaning my face with the micellar water as i said earlier mm, you have to clean your face now i've taken my bath this morning i just got to my studio this morning and now you see the dirt i'm going to be bringing out of my face now i'm going to be looking down a bit too because i have my mirror here with me i'm looking in the mirror so pardon me for that mm. Um, anything you're doing to your face, make sure you bring it down to your neck every time. Can you see how dirty this thing is? Can you see? And I've taken my bath this morning. Please do not insult me that I do not know how to take my bath because I do. So now once you're done with cleaning your face, you want to hydrate your face. No matter the skin, um, what's it called you have? No matter the skin type you have, you have to hydrate like it is important. Your skin needs water, so you have to hydrate. So right now, I'm going to be using this Mario Badescu, um, what's it called now? The Mario Badescu Facial Spray, just to hydrate. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Like I said, this is just for like your everyday makeup. I'm not going anywhere, so. And another thing you have to know is that you have to dry down your process don't just go on and on and on because you are rushing if you know you are going to be rushing or you have somewhere to be then i feel you should get up earlier than the time you're supposed to do or like go to the place so you can actually get started with your makeup because i don't know why people will just tell you sometimes like hey, is it not just small makeup you have to because the skin prep alone it actually takes up a whole lot of time so you have to be time cautious too when you're doing your makeup, give yourself time, like maybe 30, 40 minutes to do your makeup if you know you're going to be rushing. So now, let's get into the story. My face is done drying, plus my AC is on, so it's actually helping the process. Sorry if my eye looks red, I just scratched it a bit, I don't know, it was itching me, so I... And I'm not supposed to do that. So I'm going to be going in with this serum, it's from Omari Code. And it is quite affordable, so you want to just put a few. First application was a fail, so we try again. <laughs> I don't know, it fell on my mouth. Ooh, that should be enough with the one that already came out before. So you are just going to rub that in. You have to concentrate majorly under your eyes. Concentrate there under the eye now one thing about makeup is 
you need all the moisture you can get on your face so that your face is not just looking all dry and cakey i know some people will be like oh but i have a very very oily skin yes you have oily skin but you actually need to hydrate and moisturize your face a lot so now moving on to the story time this event happened like um how many years ago now would i say three four years ago or even more than that but it happened a long time ago so on this fateful day <laughs> we had thieves come into my hostel i was in school i think i was in like um 200 level i guess i think i was still in 200 level so on this fateful day when the thief would even come it was not just the day that it was just me and my roommate that was around though hey i was like i was around my roommate was around then i had two other friends that came to visit me okay i think one was actually staying with me like she was squatting with me but my other friend she only just came to pass the night so have it in mind that we were three like three girls on my bed then my roommate was the only one on her bed and let's just say just imagine this whole place as my room like my hostel room my lodge then my roommate, our own bed is close to the window. My own bed is close to the other side, like the passage. So, hmm, this day, I was in the room with three other girls when the thieves came. So on this day, we were actually just going about our normal daily activities. We were just, I think even that day, like um, earlier that day, I washed my clothes. So I spread them outside and I have this practice. Like instead of me to pack my clothes inside, even if they are not fully dried, I feel like why would I pack my clothes inside when they are not fully dried? Like let me just leave it outside though. Then when it's fully dried the following day, I'll bring it back inside. But that day, I still did what I normally do. I left my clothes outside and part of the clothes I left outside is one of my favorite red, red dress that dress I had only worn it once and before I got that dress oh my god it was I don't know I had to think about it a lot like was the dress really worth it did I really like it and all that before I finally got this dress so on this day I actually we were sleeping we already slept and on a normal day I would put my laptop that time i was using apple laptop like the macbook air the very flat one and i was using an iphone 6 i guess was it an iphone 6 i guess an iphone 6 because it was a long time ago i was in an iphone 6 and a macbook air that time then my friends too they also had their phone charging at the extension box we just left it there and normally i would never like never i would never put my laptop on the floor beside my bed I would always put it inside the laptop bag then like keep it somewhere safe or inside my wardrobe safe better still but that particular day that fateful day hmm, I kept it on the floor because I was watching a movie then I think I slept off so I just put it on the floor like bare like that I didn't keep it safe or keep it anywhere so that was how that was how um, what's it called now that was how the thieves came like i just felt a tap on my leg i'm like what is going on here like who is this but i just stood up and i was like oh so i'm actually just trying to remember the story very well but right now i'm going to be priming my face you have to prime your face so that your makeup stays in place all day especially if you are going to have the makeup on for long hours you have to have your primer on yep 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 so that day i actually felt a tap on my leg i'm like ah, ah who is this like what is going on here so i stood up i was about to stand up that was how the thief was like we should just stay there like that like we should remain in that position like the way we are sleeping we should just lie down there like that so this person was actually putting light i think it was touch light or something the person was actually putting light to our faces so we couldn't even see like you know when you are sleeping or somebody just wakes you up and they now put light to your face you know you first be like ah, what's going on now so the person was like we should just remain in that position so i was like ah, okay okay see problem thieves like because i've never encountered that kind of thing before in my life <laughs> so we remained in that position 
the person was not asking for our phones the person didn't even really need to ask because we were literally charging the phones my own laptop was on the floor everything was just there so i'm like hey what was going on the person took our phones took everything took the laptop in fact the person was there for a long time then my roommate was even doing something very very stupid she was still trying to negotiate with the thief and in the real sense she was the one who opened the door for the thieves now that's going to sound funny right but she did she was the one who opened the door for the thieves which when we went to the police station the following day they were even like uh -uh, that, are you sure that it is not even that your roommates that even brought them but basically like judging from how she is normally she can't do that kind of thing and um what's it called she was just being naive that was why she opened the door so after the thieves had gone we were just very scared we didn't know what to do and we were like ah that what is going on now that what are we going to do we didn't even know what time it was because there was no light that time then we were not sure because the thieves were like the thief was actually trying to scare us he was saying things like okay that he's not the only one here that he has other people that have already surrounded our, our old hostel that other thieves are in the other rooms and things like that so we were really really scared we didn't know what to do so that day he left then we didn't know what time it was we didn't know if it was the right time to go outside to even ask for help or anything we just stayed there like that though <laughs> it was not funny i've already prepped my face and i used the makeup seal over it too so i just ha i have to allow that to dry down a bit too just make sure that all your makeup processes have to dry down and to apply my foundation i already made sure that my skin prep is dried so you just apply it you can use a, bl a brush to like apply it before using a beauty blender or if you don't own a beauty blender that's something like this you can use a a brush that is like this like a dense brush can you see how the head is like something like this to like just do it so let's just take the foundation all over yep yep let's blend that out now so i think i've even forgotten where i stopped for this story but that story is just funny the thief came in woke us up and took all of our phones and even my laptop it was so disheartening like how would you just come inside somebody's place and steal things like that we were even just too scared so after the person took everything like that then he went we were not sure if it was actually true that there were other people outside because you know i said it before that i said it was not the only one who came that they were a lot and they were surrounded in the whole hostel <laughs> do you know what came to my head right now that bunch of women surrounded in my room <laughs> But this one is a bunch of thieves so now we didn't even know if it was a bunch of thieves or it was the only one of which we later got to know that it was the only one it was only lying to us because come to think of it we were four girls in the room if we had known or if it is that our heads were working fast if we grab him like uh -uh, we'll beat him now but uh, that's how he took all our things and left daddy then we didn't even know how to go outside because we did not know what time it was there was no phone to check time nothing nothing like that so we we're just in the room looking so when it was like when it was morning a bit when we saw that everywhere was okay like it was bright a bit we now went outside to them we had to go and knock on my neighbor's door to tell them that ah that did they experience anything like that they were like no that's how everybody came outside though we now told them everything that had happened and know that we were ah no 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 that day was actually a very very bad experience like i wouldn't want even my enemy to experience a thief coming to their house though that was was actually like a petty thief because it's not like he came with guns or anything but ah that was bad though. till today like this i still have that trauma of thieves coming over to somebody's house like i don't just like that thing at all so the following that morning when when we now got outside the other people in the lodge were like oh that we need to call the agent to tell him what has happened and oh we called the agent we did everything he came that morning he had to tell us that we have to go to the police station that maybe they can even track the phone for us and all sure you see this nigeria is just a scam i know that's not a new thing but i'm just saying stating the obvious again 
because you see those police people when we went to their place they were just laughing at us i'm like is this supposed to be a funny issue they were like ah we were plenty in the rooms and we now came out saying that eh, that they stole our phones blah 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 that we are supposed to be talking about something different this morning that because we are supposed to have dragged the thief we should have beaten him up we should have done this done that done that at the end of the day they told us to write a statement we wrote the statement then they told us that um what did they even say again they said okay after the statement that we have to pay some amount of money was it about like thirty five thousand or so and that time wasn't how many years ago that's like three four years ago how many years ago it's been a long time sure but they now said we should pay some amount of money but it was quite outrageous i didn't have that money so i had to start calling around okay i even remember i called one of my uncle self to that time me i thought he was being mean when he didn't give me that money because he was telling me that all those police people that they'll just collect your money and they won't do anything to help you so i didn't get the money but no 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 i think i actually got the money later on and i paid them but at the end of the day they didn't track anything like i couldn't get my phone back i couldn't get my my laptop back we didn't get anything back so now i'm done with the foundation application can you see that it is very light it is not anything heavy that's why i said this look is just maybe for your everyday well like if you just want to quickly go out with your girls or anything like that this is not what i would do if i was doing a makeup for a bride you know i'm a makeup artist so oh well i'm trying my possible best not to like cut out anything like that from this um tutorial would i call it a tutorial whatever it's supposed to be a story time but i'm mixing it together with the tutorial you people should better tell me thank you in the comment section so that i can teach you better <laughs> okay so right now i'm i sprayed over my foundation so that it actually settles in properly then i'll be going in with my what's it called my concealer now this is the what's the name of this concealer nuban in my skin concealer this is what it looks like so you can get it it is actually a very very creamy concealer do you know that nigerian brands are actually doing so well these days they are doing so so well so i'm going to be going in with this concealer I'm not doing anything so heavy you know people will naturally tell you going with two shades lighter 100 shades lighter just do you this shade is not even so bright like that but i just want my under eye to pop properly so i'm just going to be going in with this shade hope my mirror is not blocking my face so i have to see as well sorry if i'm making funny faces if you don't make funny faces when you are doing your makeup <laughs> then are you actually doing your makeup so that's it you just do that now i know i look like ojuju currently but girls we know what's up now so this is it i just wanted to quickly put you guys on something blush i know people will be like oh i don't like blush i don't like blush but, but the moment you start using blush you will fall in love with it so now i'm actually using this my tm essential blush this is what this is the mini this is the mini size so this is almost like a budget friendly makeup so you can get i think i got this for like 2500 naira so was it two five or three thousand five i don't remember right now so you can get this mini it is a cream blush they have different shades this one is looking reddish kind of there's like the pink there's like the orange there's other ones but trust me guys when you start using blush you wouldn't want to go back like blush is actually a game changer for your makeup trust me so i'm going to be using my blush i already used a darker shade of foundation to like contour my face like from here to here and from here to here too i didn't film that sorry that's what i'm telling you now so let me put the blush on the other side i need more so let me take more you people seriously once you start using blush you don't want to go back because blush is a game changer even i too i didn't like blush um, before but i started using it recently too and i'm falling in love with it like i don't think i can actually do makeup without using blush now because it's just the bomb.com so now we are going to blend in our concealer just like this blend 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 make sure you are blending not like don't drag when you are blending your makeup like you have to pat 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 like this have to pat it pat pat i 
and any, anything you do make sure you get in the inner corner of your nose like this area make sure you get in that corner work it yeah so right now i already blended my um, concealer under my eyes and i'm um trying to contour my nose right now whatever you do if you know you do not have a hang of your concealer please do not apply so much under your eyes just do the little you can do and that's all so just watch as i contour my nose i'm using like a darker shade of foundation that is what i'm using to contour my nose right now hope i'm not using my mirror to cover up the whole camera So basically when you actually contour your nose you do it like from the edge of your brows then you bring it down but in everything you do do not apply like so much product so just blend okay so they actually took the light but now the gen is on so i'm already blending out the the contour for my nose if you know you're not a fan of contour you can leave this out but it's actually a very very nice step and it to make your um, what's it called it to make your makeup come out even better so i'm trying to adjust this camera so it's okay i hope you guys can see me properly so i'm blending out the harsh lines so that it doesn't just look like okay the concealer the highlight is staying in one place and the contour is staying in one place so i'm using a dense brush just like a smaller version of that one i said you can use for your foundation that's what i'm using Ooh. yeah so i'm going to be going in with my beauty blender just to blend again the concealer because it must not crease under your eyes if it can crease under your eyes then that's the end so you have to work it you have to like blend it properly and don't allow it crease so at this point you have to like put your powder now okay so as i was saying i already blended out the hash line for my contour on the nose so now we are going to be setting the under eye but for the under eye i said you have to blend out the under eye properly so it doesn't crease so you blend it out properly that under eye so it doesn't crease that is the way i'm carrying my face if you know you want to apply your powder you have to make sure you blend it properly so it doesn't crease you can see how many times i'm going in because of this thing so now i'm going to use a normal powder first like a normal pressed powder first before i go in with um, a setting powder that works better for me So now you see I'm going in again with my beauty blender for that side before applying the powder. Don't forget you highlighted your nose too, so you have to apply the pressed powder on that area too. And your forehead, like all the areas you put the uh, mossy corner. I'm using this real technique brush. Can you see how the mount is? It's very easy for the application of your powder. So now I'll be going in with my setting powder, but just a bit. I don't want it to be so much so that's why I'm just going in with little 
I don't think I'm going to be baking. You know, baking is when you actually just put that setting powder and it is a lot that so you can see it. Like, okay, something is here. Oh. Like, we're actually baking the face to so everybody. Come and see, we are baking the face. No, I'm not doing that. You know, I said we'll just be doing this for like your everyday eyewear. So now let's go in with powder for the contoured area too. So I'm still using, this is V Beauty, this is the powder palette I'm using, it's V Beauty. That's the next one. Sorry, let me just, instead of turning that way. So. Right now I'm just using powder to do the sides that we contoured to. Because the same way you put powder for highlight, you have to do the same for the contour. You can't do one and leave one. You have to do both. Yep. So now, I'm still going in with the nose contour. Okay, so yeah, that is it. Then you also have to like go in with the contour on your on the sides where you apply the cream contour. So you know I said I contoured earlier with um, a darker shade of foundation. So I'm also going in with uh, what's it called now? I'm also going in with a darker shade of powder to contour all the perimeters of my face. Uh -huh. I'm really hoping that you understand what I'm doing in this tutorial but if you don't you can just drop a comment down below and I'm going to answer your questions there hopefully you understand like this because it is really really explanatory so can you see the face is looking snatched already yep then we go in with a powder blush also because for any cream for any cream you use on your face you have to powder it so that it stays in place so it stays in place i'm using this blush from um, what's it called girls night out that's the name of the blush i'm using girls night out that's the blush i'm using so we are just going to be using a little Yep, that's it. Now you can set the rest of the face with your with your own powder shade. So just set, set, set. Like you just tap the powder in. And you know, like I said, anything you apply to your face, make sure you bring it down to your neck. That's how it works. If not, you'll be having patches everywhere which is not going to be nice at all yep make sure you powder your forehead too and make sure you have a light hand when you are doing your makeup also you have to powder your brows so that it stays matte all day yep powder let it get to your ears then down to your neck i just hope i'm making sense to you guys and i hope you people can learn a trick or two from what i'm doing here so yeah that's it i think we're done with the face now 
so we'll be moving on to the brows shortly okay so i did my brows off camera so i'm back here again and we're going to be moving on to eyeshadow so you have to apply your eyeshadow base just a little bit especially to the inner corners because you want the color you put on the inner corner to show properly so you want your base to be there then you blend it out properly just remember anything you do in makeup a little goes a long way so just I'm not saying a little, like very little low, but a reasonable amount goes a long way. So today I don't think I'm going to be doing anything serious on the eyes because I'm actually not going anywhere. I'm just filming this video just for the purpose of this. So I'm going to be using my Laura Conzipt palette. This palette is very old. <laughs> I don't think they sell it any longer, but even if they do, it's going to be very, very expensive now very expensive because i think it was actually still expensive that time when i bought it so and i bought it like maybe like this is seven years ago or more than that yeah. basically you need your fluffy brushes i don't know if you can see the brushes i'm using now these brushes are just like this so you have to go in with your where is this palette okay i'm going to be using the brown from this palette like a brown shade from this palette that's what I'm going to be using as my transition shade. So you put it like here. Okay. My setting powder just fell. And I'm just using the setting powder on the brow bone, just on the highest part of. So. So now you can just blend that out in this makeup anything you do just blend it out properly blend it out seamlessly so now i'm going to be going back to that brown shade so the brown shade as the transition shade the transition color you put it all over then you use it all over too you use it all over Oh no, somebody said, ah, oh. use it all over. So use the, trans the brown as a transition shade. The other colors you can use as transition shades too, but brown is like my go-to transition shade. Then on the lid, which is like the inner corner, you use any color of your choice. Hey, hello. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. Somebody came in while I was filming. I hope people can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be going in with this shade, this one. It looks like the gold I'm wearing. So I'm going to be using that shade on the lid. That's the major part, this inner part here. So you just be tapping it in on that lid part. Just apply a generous amount. This eyeshadow palette is actually very pigmented, so I don't need to like go in and in and in. So it's pigmented. So just one swipe will do a lot. Goes a long way. So now use the former brush that I used to take the brown color, then you use it to blend it all in together. to blend it all in so now now that that is done because i didn't want anything too dramatic for the eyes because i'm not going anywhere like i said so and you can easily do this if you go to work or you just want to go out with your friends this is a very very easy eyeshadow look to create for that purpose Sorry that this video is all over the place, but we get the drill. And um, now I'm going to be going in with my liner. For my liner, I'm going to be using this gel liner. This one is just from Carite. And I'm going to be using this very penciled like 
uh, what's it called applicator is the applicator it comes in like a pack and i think it has like 15 a pack or so so you can see this is new so you just dip it in i said i was going to do the eyeliner off camera why am i coming on here to do it again so you just do it because i don't think you can actually use liquid eyeliner for this process especially for the under eye it's going to be a bit clumsy Ooh, that fell down so i'm not supposed to be doing it on camera but So today I'm going to be trying out a new method because I applied a little bit of lash um, of lash glue to my lash band like this like I'm using this glue is from classic so I use it can you see how tiny the mouth for the applicator is so I did it like as if I was drawing a liner then I also applied a little bit to the lash band too so let's see how that goes it's drying down a bit now so let's see how that goes So generally, I think that is actually a very very good method and I think I'm going to adapt it because the glue actually like attracted each other so it's easier that way. So I'm just trying to press the lash to my own natural lash. Can you see that it stays put and it's really nice. I'm going to be doing that to my other so I'm done applying the lashes and the application method was very very easy like you just apply a little bit of it to your lash band then apply it also to the lashes then wait for it to get tacky but then apply it to each other very easy you'll be done applying your lashes in like under one minute very very easy very easy it looks nice right now very easy so now I'm going to be moving on to my lip application so this i'm going to be using all of this i don't know if you can see it i'm using this blot i'm using blot i'm using this classic and i'm using this beauty line by dd glosses i don't know if you can see them properly but those are the lip things i'm going to be using today and they look absolutely gorgeous so first things first i'm going to be putting this first let me use my mirror so i can see what i'm doing too So that's going to be like the base it dries down really fast so you have to be fast with whatever it is you're doing then now i'm going to be using this brush to apply this brown lip stain whatever you do just make sure you do it fast because these lip stains are matte and they're dry so you have to do it on time You have to follow the shape of your lips unless you want to outline. Okay, so never took the light, but I continued doing the application of my lipstick. So so you just apply like that.
this is creating like an ombre effect and I love it. It's giving, 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 giving. It's giving all it's supposed to be giving. Going in with my glosses right now. So that's it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, bit of my Didi. Yep, 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 yep. And the clear gloss up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So we're done with the lips now. So this could just pass for your everyday look or if you just want to hang out with your friends so I'm going to be putting a little bit of highlights at the brow bone it's a loose highlight so I'm just going to be putting it at the brow bone just so it can pop a little bit then here too and just use a fluffy brush like this to apply your highlights and that's it. Your cheeks are going to be going to the gods. Yeah, that's it. Yippee! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 